Good day, you beautiful people of YouTube. It's the Mad Marine here, and today is Wednesday, April 14th, 2021. We're going to do another little academy search. I uh, did one yesterday, and total fail. Uh, again, Academy is supposedly getting randomized shipments of ammunition. They're supposed to be staggering it out throughout the day or, you know, throughout multiple days, but, uh, didn't look like that was the case yesterday. Um, so we're going to go check. Now, Wednesdays are usually a normal ammo day, so hopefully there's actually some ammo. We'll see how many people are there. I'm not particularly looking for anything. However, um, you know, maybe I'll pick something up for myself or some friends, or uh, maybe I'll just uh, buy nothing. Who knows? Maybe there's nothing to buy. And, uh, you know, Atlanta drivers. <laughs> uh, goodness. But uh, anyway, you have got to make that exit. <laughs> but um, anyway, this is the Mad Marine, and uh, I'd like to say thank you to the channel. Thank you so much. We've hit a thousand subscribers big milestone. Uh, apparently at a thousand subscribers, YouTube starts paying a little bit more attention to the channel. So I'm sure we're going to be demonetized and the channel will be shut down shortly. Uh, but hopefully not. Uh, we will see what happens with all that crazy stuff. But um, anyway, this is the Mad Marine. It's signing off. We'll see what we can see. Good day, you beautiful people of YouTube. It's the Mad Marine, back from Academy. Oh, goodness. I think as the date is the 14th of April. It is a Wednesday. And uh, so let's talk about what happened at Academy today. So it was Wednesday, which is a normal ammo day. And I got there right at 9 o'clock. Uh, there were approximately 40 people in front of me. Uh, I was the last one in when they opened the doors. I honestly didn't stand in line, but for a s under 30 seconds, uh, they were opening the doors as I was getting in line, and then um, took a picture of what was available. Now, um, usually what they do is they'll do a print-off, and they'll put it on the front door before the store opens on ammo days, and let you know what they got. And uh, so, uh, I, I don't have that picture, like, here, so I can't show it to you, but I'll read you off... Um, my notes. Uh, so they had some nine millimeter, they had Monarch, they had Remington, and they had Winchester. Um, <clears throat> it was very limited on the uh, brass, which was the Remington and Winchester. They had quite a bit of um, Monarch. They did have some 45 ammo. That was Winchester brass. Uh, they had some 12 gauge ammo. However, it was Winchester buckshot, and it wasn't a lot. Uh, the 12 gauge ammo has really disappeared. Um, so that's just what I'm seeing out there right now. And gotten very expensive. Uh, 223 uh, came with Monarch and Winchester. Again, that Winchester stuff was brass. It went very quickly and wasn't a lot. Uh, they had a, still some decent amount of Monarch 223. However, a lot of people don't like the Monarch 223 um, because one, a lot of ranges won't let them shoot it. Two, they're just cautious of it. Um, I don't care to shoot to steel out of my ARs. ARs were not designed for steel cartridges, and there's some problems. Can you do it? Absolutely. Can you get away with it for a while? Yeah, absolutely. But again, ARs were not made for steel. Uh, 762 by 39 Monarch. They had some of that. They ha didn't have um, big boxes. They had small 20-round bo boxes of those. Um and your two box limit, so what do you want to spend your limit on? You know, 20 rounds or something else. Uh, they did have some 762 by 54R Monarch. Uh, again, that was 20 round boxes. I did not get prices on a lot of things, uh, just wasn't able to. And then um, they did have um, 380 uh, Monarch as well. Again, that's steel, it's 380. Did not catch prices on that. So what did I come home with? Well, I'll reveal. Oh, guys, uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. That does help the channel grow, and I greatly appreciate it. So 200-round packs of the Monarch 9mm. It is steel-cased. Uh, probably most ranges will not allow you to shoot this on their range because, well, they're, they're scared. But um, I wanted to show you guys some stuff. I've got the receipt over here. 
Uh, so I paid, what was the actual unit price before taxes and all other stuff? Um, $64.99 was the unit price before taxes. So, and I had a 6% sales tax. So my total for these two were, and I did the math on here and hopefully my math doesn't suck, uh, $137.78 divided by two. Uh, of course, this is with tax, um, 68.89 divided by 200. And that gives us basically 34, 30, 34, cents per round. So 34, 35 cents round. That's a lot for steel, but, uh, it's unfortunately the cheapest thing at the moment. All right. So now what I want to bring your attention to, and I meant to do this back in December, but I didn't. So we're going to talk about some interesting numbers. And the most interesting number to me, is, well, all these numbers are interesting. First one is 188. Now for you Mosins or 762 by 54R guys, know exactly what 188 is. 188 is the Russian factory that produces 762 by 54R ammunition. And that 188 is supposedly the sniper. The sniper ammo, there you go, in quotation marks. Um, I don't know if the 188 ammo is all that much better than everything else, but supposedly that's the sniper ammo. Uh, the other interesting thing is 2021, and the date is January. Uh, so most everywhere in the world, uh, except the United States, still do the year, month, and date. In the U.S., we do month, day, year. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so this was produced in January, and we're now mid-April. So it took, what, let's just say three months, maybe four months for it to make it to a shelf. That's where we're at in supply chains, at least stuff coming over from overseas in Russia, um, or coming overseas uh, in general. So... We're looking at at least a three month to four, you know, maybe even a four month lag time, maybe two and a half month um, lag time from production to uh, commercial vendors and, and actually getting it off the shelf. So I thought that was interesting. And I would love to know from you guys, if you're picking up stuff, when you, what your dates are, where it's from, and then when you purchased it, because that will give us an idea of how quickly things are getting out um, and what the lag time is in production. And that's again for just happens to be Monarch and who knows, who knows how long this was sitting around. Um, now, some of you guys are like, I can't shoot steel. Um, I feel for you. I'm sorry. Uh, I can. This seemed to be the most economical thing at the time to pick up. I got one of these for myself, one of these for a friend. Um, I just kind of picked this up on a whim, like, okay, well, this is something, and it's at, uh, I won't even say decent price, but um, it, it's a price I can, willing to pay, um, but yeah, so the sad part is, I think for about three more cents, I could have got brass if it had been available, but it wasn't, um, and that's the issue, is availability of ammunition, you just kind of have to take what you can get, <clears throat> excuse me, um, you know, we'll see, maybe tomorrow I'll run out and check and see what availability there is, again, Academy is supposed to be getting randomized shipments, I don't know if that's true, I mean, so far it hasn't proven to be true, but we will see, anyway, I hope this helps you guys out, again, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please reach out, and again, thank you so much, we've hit that thousand sub, Mark, uh, we'll see if YouTube uh, does anything terrible or wonderful to the channel. Uh, it's supposed to get reviewed at usually around a thousand. Once you have a thousand subscribers, uh, YouTube takes more of an interest in your channel. So we will see how uh, how this channel goes moving forward. But I would like to thank you for all the support. And again, if I can ever help you, please reach out. This is the Mad Marine signing off. Have a good one.